Hey, and welcome to Runway Audio's first ever podcast. Yeah. We're so excited to get this rolling. It's something, we, something we've wanted to do for a really long time, and finally rolling, finally doing it. Mm-hmm. I'm Austin. And I'm Evan. And here we are. This is going to be a really fun project. Um, we're going to try to have them out once a month, and we're going to have cool people on, like artist managers, musicians, all those kind of people that yeah. just kind of help you be a better version of your artist self. Right. So if you're a guitar player and our musician be sure to tag along and subscribe yeah we want to bring people in that you guys would have like good questions for or just want to know more about what they do or learn things about uh like what more you guys can do in the music industry and that kind of thing so we'll be reaching out through facebook and instagram and stuff like that for uh just kind of gauging to see what you guys want to hear about and learn about in the music industry in general and i mean music industry being from people that make cables again to people touring and buses and stuff for the year and that kind of thing so yeah we'll be reaching out and we're excited we we want to make this something you guys want so here it is all right austin to get us started why don't you tell us about the history of runway audio yeah so runway started we started five years ago um over at belmont university just a handful of blocks away from us here um if you're watching online on YouTube, we're here in our shop yeah. in Nashville, Tennessee at Marathon Village. If you're in the Nashville area, come yeah, say come hey. visit. We're here <laughs> every day making cables. Um, yeah, so we're really known for our instrument cables. We have one of the lowest capacitance cabling on the market. So we, capacitance basically is how much the cable is talking to itself across the cable and losing signal. So that's kind of what you hear is tone loss is kind of the, the the buzzword and we can chat about more of that later but um yeah we started over at belmont literally in the parking garages mm-hmm. soldering cables because the dorm halls wouldn't the doors the no windows fumes. wouldn't open so you couldn't get <laughs> yeah. the get the fumes out so we were smart kind of i guess so it's a fun start and, and seeing where we are now is really cool so. yeah so what made you start runway yeah i was in the parking garages yeah <laughs> i was honestly so sick of just music gear breaking on me especially yeah. cables yeah. Uh, that's really where it started and then it, it kind of was a, a a swirl from there like it really was is figuring out like wow cable there's so much more to cables than just plugs and cable like it it has so many more pieces to it and and so we dove really deep into it and spent a lot of time figuring out what is the best cable on the market and what makes the best cable on the market not just what will make your guitar make sound yeah uh, and so that's where we landed today with that yeah if you're listening i'm assuming you use a cable in some sort of profession or hobby like us but whether that be like guitars or singing with microphones but if you're like me like i had no idea cables meant anything other than like you needed them like i didn't know there was good cables or bad cables and you see like gold plated stuff but like i figured it was all a hoax and like a cable's a cable it either worked or it didn't but then diving into runway and we hear this time and time again from everybody that tries runway cables it's like they had no idea that there could be that big of a difference just from the cable because you don't think of cables when you think of gear like gear is kind of what's on the ends of the cables but it's a big difference sometimes it's like the last thing they think of it's like they like they are so excited about a guitar they're so excited about an amp or the pedal and they're like oh crap i need another you know the cable like right. like what's an amazon thing i can order really fast or what's this yeah so we kind of wanted to come in and be like no like this matters this is like a big piece of yeah, your gear for sure and honestly your your tone or your sound is only as good as your weakest link and yeah nine times out of ten that's your your cable yeah so. yeah and like people it's it's so easy to spend a lot of money on a good amp and on like all these awesome pedals and things like that and that's obviously important i'm not saying anything is wrong with that because that's huge and, and most of your tone probably comes from that but it's like why not pair that and get the most out of that other gear with with better cables and things like that so yeah. it's i mean the best example i've ever heard i say it all the time is it's like you buy a really nice sports car and then you put plastic tires on it it's like that obviously <laughs> makes a connection you obviously know that rubber tires good tires make sense like it'll yeah it'll get you from point a to point b but you're not getting that thousand horsepower zero to 60 in two seconds like you're not right. getting your actual value that you bought you paid for from that yeah. car yeah so yeah so 
cables we've covered that so what what all does runway offer yeah so aside from cabling uh cables we do professional pedal board setups so anyone from that's anyone that's touring 300 dates a year to plays every sunday at their church to never leaves their bedroom we build boards for them Mm -hmm. like and it's a blast we get to work with people that aren't there's a spectrum between my board buzzes and I'm just frustrated and I can't get it to work and I'm fussing with it for the first 30 minutes of every sound check and the sound guy hates me and yeah. um, and all the way to I have the sound in my head and I just want to make it happen and right. so we get to make that happen with people and build a board that they just love that's going to work day in and day out with perfectly clean wiring we use the same uh, spec of cable for our patch cabling so you don't realize that there's 20 30 feet of cabling on a pedal board like it, it right. happens really it fast up. it adds yeah. up really really fast like six inches at a time and, yeah. um, so it's really important cabling on a board is also really important um, but making it clean and making it just work day in and day out something that you don't really have to worry about anymore and you're you show up to a gig and you just play guitar like you're not yeah worrying about playing fussing with your pedal board right yeah it's cool that we get people that just want a neater board like they have everything they want they just want it straightened out and as tight and compact as possible and then people that they'll just tell us they want to sound like John Mayer they want to sound like Joe Bonamassa and then it's kind of our game to work with them to get the pedals and chain they want and build them a board in that way too so yeah yeah and we get to see like tons of pedals and tons of different like connections and and different ways that they all can work together in signal chains and so Mm -hmm. it's really fun that we get to work with people and like give ideas to that like obviously like if you want us to build a board for you that is this exact signal chain like we will do it all day yeah, but we love working with clients and like figuring out like what's a more creative way that we can make this happen and like make yeah. your sound your own and not just john mayer like yeah. what they like, can get the most out yeah. of the gear you have and yeah yeah exactly yeah that's cool a lot of fun um and then as far as cables i mean we offer everything's customizable so like varying lengths 10 15 20 foot you know that kind of thing and then colors and we work with people to do custom colors we've done some fun things for different groups that wanted like gear for the whole tour and so they get wild colors and you can contact us for anything Uh, we offer like a handful of of our set standard colors but then pretty much if it's possible we we can do it for you like it's it's fun to do the things kind of outside of the box and custom and xlr cables which most people just want black like I'm using here, but we can do others. Austin's got the red one sitting in front of me here. Um, patch cables. What am I missing? Um, speaker cables. Yeah, speaker cables. Yeah. We do, and we also have a custom shop. So on our website at the bottom, there's just a custom shop form. We get some fun requests all day, every day, and we try to make them. So it's they're really cool. It's fun. If there's ever a cable you just think you might need and you can't find it at Guitar Center or can't find it on Amazon, yeah. like give us a call like we'll try our best to make it happen (laughs) right yeah we're set up to make cables yeah of all kinds (laughs) ic power cables you know so yeah i just want to give a quick shout out to lewitt audio for helping us with this podcast yeah they got us these incredible microphones they're based out of austria they got us these are the 440 pures yeah I'm honestly a really big fan of them. They're very budget friendly. Um, I plugged them in and I was honestly really blown away. Like how yeah. just very clear instantly it was. Like I didn't even have a compressor just straight into my little focus right interface. Right, and I was right. like, this is honestly going to be a little workout workhorse for runway audio. Yeah. Or... Yeah. They're cool. Um, we reached out asking for these for this podcast and they were gracious enough just to send us a couple. They are one inch condensers. And they're just, they're sweet. They come with this, the shock mount and screen and everything, and they're, like, rugged, but, like, very functional. They're yeah, they, they're, like, beefy. Like, they have some weight to them. So yeah. they feel like they're going to last a long time. The yeah. pop filter also is, yeah, like, magnetic. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really sweet. If you're watching on YouTube, obviously, you can see our mics here. But if you're just listening, you'll have to take our word for them that they sound great and they look awesome. So, yeah, thanks, Lewitt. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us on our first ever Runway Podcast. Again, this was just kind of a, a kind of an intro, just 
a little bit of something we wanted to put out there with a little bio of Runway Audio and who we are, what we do, and where we came from, and that kind of thing. So thanks for listening. Uh, we hope you're as excited as we are about the future. We've got some great guests lined up and some awesome plans. And again, if you have ideas, like let us know, DM us, Facebook message us. Like we'd love to hear who you want to see, uh, what you want to hear about, that kind of thing. So um, we'll be on all the podcast platforms from Apple Podcasts, Spotify, everything in, in between and all the outliers, all that kind of thing. And we'll put the videos up on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, check us out, Runway Audio. Uh, you can find uh, our existing content. We've got demo videos and that kind of thing up with some great stuff. Follow us on Instagram at Runway Audio. Check out our Facebook do all the things, follow us, subscribe, like, click the bell, you know, all the things they say. Um, and yeah, go check out our website, runwayaudio.com, and go pick up a, a new cable today. Yeah. So again, I'm Evan. I'm Austin. And thanks for listening.